Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Joanna. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Early Morning Ascension Show. And today we're going to talk about um, DNA activations, what that really is, what it means, um, how you can feel it and sense into it. As you're becoming more um, open and aware and attuned with who you are as a whole being, as a Merkaba, as a soul, you're going to absolutely feel um, greater and greater um, refinement of your body going through many, many changes. And this is so amazing. This is probably the funnest part of our whole ascension journey. And it makes all of those dark night of the soul moments worth it. Because it's actually the proof, it's the tangibility that we are absolutely multidimensional beings. It's the tangibility that our planet is on the crucible breaking point of profound medicine that is going to be more natural and homeopathic, um, based solely on our consciousness. Um, and it sounds, it sounds kind of um, outlandish and, and as if it's a big ask, but it's really, really not. Um, when you're going through ascension, you're always challenging your consciousness to expand and incorporate greater light. Your body goes through and your higher, through your higher self and through your soul and your soul's teams, of course, all angelic, and you're linked with the sacred codes and sacred geometries of many, many teams that you're linked with throughout all of creation. Because our evolutionary journey is also linked to the evolutionary journey of all that is. And so your linking of yourself as the micro macro is going to be activated as the next link that you're connected with and the next link and the next link. That's why we come within a sacred triad because that sacred triad is being activated constantly all the time. And it's up to each and every person to continue their activational growth. Now, because we're multidimensional beings, that activational growth happens in a spiral of now. And while you'll be tempted and while you'll be tested and while you'll also be excited to participate and engage and entangle in that aspect of you that is physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And that spiritual and all of those aspects of who you are as multidimensional is then the expansiveness and also the, the bedding of the consciousness in and of itself. Your consciousness is the meaning and the rewrite of all your physical, mental, emotional, and etheric spiritual. So your consciousness is the God essence that activates all of these other parts to in this now moment constantly evolve as expansive and infinite and eternal as it can. So just giving you an example um, and why we're always connected. We're always connected, always connected, always connected. And as you, as a singular being in matter and body form, your body is absolutely spirit. As you're going through ascension, as I've been going through ascension for um, probably 16, 17 years now in my awakened state, which means that 16 years is when I started writing about it and becoming aware of what was going on with me in inner and outer. I started to absolutely take part in journaling every day, meditating every day, honoring that the things outside of me were absolutely happening for a reason and what was going on. And that's the physical attunement that I started to feel things were different, things were happening and changing on a cyclical basis. And everybody has a unique cyclical pattern of incorporating light, of processing light and pacing of the light. So each person will be at a different place and space and time. And this is why it's always meant to be of the highest free will to allow every soul their unique journey, because no two souls will ever be on the same pacing and participating and processing of light as others. And this is why many souls at varying times will constantly move apart and knowing that in spirit, you're always in one, that there's always that growth and expansion and there's always connectedness. But in this recent experience that I've had as now being at the most um, highest of my consciousness epitome. And I'm so very grateful for all of the beautiful teams that have always um, been working with me to expand my consciousness and to always remind me that, you know, getting through those challenges and getting over the humps and the mental viruses and the mental bodies are probably the hardest and probably the worst, if you will, because it's how we've all been entrained as a collective. We've been entrained to incorporate and live from our mental body and those mental bodies are now becoming corrupt and they're now becoming dense and ill. And therefore it continues the cycles and the patterns of density and corruption. And so those are the hardest ones to break the patterns of, to entrain yourself that you are a higher consciousness being and release yourself from the lower mentality and then harmonize within the higher mentality that you are this multidimensional fractal of light. And that fractal of light is constantly activated because it's connected with other fractals of light. And it allows you to bring forward any of those triggers that bring up limiting thoughts and patterns and beliefs. That anytime you're challenged to release a belief of limitation that you can't do something, but you can, all of those are systemic within our lineage, our kosh, and our social upbringing. 
because we're constantly being made felt and it's always our belief that we are less than that we don't have control of our healing we don't have control of our light bodies we don't have control of how much abundance we're able to sustain and maintain and we're able to now bring all that we are as light beings and multi-dimensional beings and we're now actually creating in this now experience of 5d earth we're now creating a whole new social system of light workers and light communities that are now starting new businesses and new entrepreneurships that are based on these new gifts and skills that 5d is now allowing us to be activated and operating within and all of our social structures whether it be medicine or banking they will all fall in alignment of these new grids and you'll see things shift out and it's not a matter of focusing on what's falling apart but it's a matter of focusing on where you want your vibration to be constantly harmonizing constantly aligning to where you want your body to be and where you want your heart and your mind to be in your soul constantly aligning the all that you are in that focused attention and intention of who you are creating your life um, because it's your consciousness that's growing in it your consciousness is creating that life your consciousness is creating the earth of that life your consciousness is creating the new rules and the new laws that are more in alignment of freedom and love and liberation and so all consciousness is so wrapped in and out and in all things that is the activation of you the evolution of you and so in this recent dna activation that i have had it has allowed me to see more profoundly that in the 16 or 17 years that i've been doing this in an active conscious state becoming aware of these cycles of ascension becoming aware of what's going on within and without and how the process of ascension really occurs and takes place and i've written three books on the various facets and synchronicities and subtleties of ascension in the best way that i can because of course everyone's unique cycle and journey is unique and sacred but it just gives you i, I wanted i wanted i wanted what i went through to be to be of knowing that what you're going through is purposeful what you're going through is profound what you're going through is that link with all that is it's that all connection that can constantly activates you into being that eternal being and that is the sacred chalice of life. And that is the sacred experience that everybody has been seeking since the beginning of time. We're all wizards. We are all beautiful magicians. We're all beautiful goddesses and gods. And each of us have unique activations that we come into our consciousness wholeness with. Consciousness wholeness is, again, yes, also the soul fragments that you're harmonizing, but it's activated within the DNA activations that they are talking through the soul and through the higher self that is knowing that we're time to taking on greater light time to carry greater light time to operate in greater light time to function as greater light so in that dna activation i was shown of course yes the dna that was that i am and moving through and um i always keep parts of that um private within myself and my teams but they were showing me part of this beautiful DNA activation was um, part of my Andromedan um, time series. And the Andromedan time series that I just had activated, and it's probably the most profound DNA activation I've had. I remember many of these activations over the years, and it feels very much like a multidimensional purging. Um, really like a, you get flu-like symptoms, and you have a cold, sinuses, sometimes it's often flu where you get diarrhea or other symptoms and you're just being purged in any way where there's extra energy that has been stagnant or blocked where you're holding beliefs about yourself about your fluidity that need to be removed because remember as you're a being of allness and everything is spiraling in this now the dna activates light and new codes of who it is and who it knows itself to be and that is the god essence so that god essence takes sovereignty and power over all else your god self is your all else it is the light you stand in it is the light you are it is the honoring that you are it is the knowing that you are it is the healing of thy name so when you say your name your name is god and that whoo, goes through your entire multi-dimensional body and it expunges everything that is not meant to be there because it knows that it's meant to be say that seventh dimensional perspective of um mental acuity um maybe you had a seventh dimensional timeline where you were um, a healing, um, a, um, a healer through light and sound. And that held a seventh dimensional consciousness. So even though I'm in a three, four or 5D body, it's becoming more and more light. So as I'm incorporating more light, as I'm living more light, as I'm radiating more light, as I'm allowing more light, parts and parts of my DNA are now ready to be activated. 
and it goes all the way up to 352 dimensions. Our DNA holds more than what we know. So this spiral of now is a constant potentiality, a constant now eternally, the constant now of all consciousness, the constant now of all planets, all realms, all experiences that you get to experience that you're able to. And it's so exciting because there are so many aspects of you you have no idea about. And you're meant to ground them. You're meant to anchor them. You're meant to be it. You're meant to shine it. You're meant to be all that you are. You get to activate your seventh dimensional, eighth dimensional, ninth dimensional perspective so that you can come here in a 340 experience and you can say, you know what, I'm going to use, I'm going to infuse what I am as a seventh D being and I'm going to infuse it into this 340 so that we can become 5D as a collective so that more and more people going through ascension i'm just one on a planet of however many billion and so more and more of the awakened ones that have been here for a while are now going through these really profound beautiful dna activations that are really washing through everything that was and bringing us into a higher state of potentiation so that we can absolutely expand within what has just been activated that activation, and it is an activation and one can feel it if one tunes in, because I'm a conduit, I have easier access to that. And I'm so grateful for my gifts, but I was given those gifts so that I could teach and explain it and express it. And how I'm feeling right now is still very, very pasty. Um, very, very, um, just, just a lot of purging and releasing, you know, all the fluids and all of the, the mucuses and everything is just being purged and released. But I can, they actually showed me, um, <laughs> My thank you. <laughs> so they're actually showing me now that um, in this now moment of allness, you're now connecting with that version of you. We're just giving this as one example. But again, we're all versions of all dimensions of all forms of all bodies. And this means because I only have words to express, express and explain in one experience, this is going for the all of the all. <laughs> um, because uh, words are linear <laughs> but those of you that are always with us you know this is a multi-dimensional experience and we're expressing far more than we say um, and we thank you for that so this andromedan experience right now is accessing those those seventh dimensional andromedan experiences the seventh dimensional of the love of self of the being of self of the excitement of self of the the love of what we know of the seventh dimensional andromedan self anchoring it into this now three four or five d body and now it's incorporating everything so that the physical mental emotional and etheric version of me in this activation are constantly coming expanded within itself one self all self and so i could have said syrian or pleiadian or Octarian, or it could have been whatever version of uh, Centaurin, could have been whatever we wanted it to be. But all cycles of our now activation will incorporate as always, and yes, this is how we grow. It will incorporate those challenges of that seventh dimensional challenge, meaning that perhaps this seventh dimensional activation of the DNA will include various activations, most particularly in the mental body, to really expand the mental mind space because that mental mind space is taking your mind and your thoughts to the highest possible potential so that you can go far beyond what you thought you could mentally. And so that would mean that you're going to have challenges that will always trigger you because you're a spiral of now evolution and they will always poke you and they will always challenge you to say, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't. Whether it's a social law, whether it's a lineage, you know, formality or, or obligation, whatever it might be called or defined, it doesn't matter because those triggers are there because that activation just took place. So when you come attuned to these activations and why and how they're so purposeful, then you can get, just release all of the, you know, all of the, um, all of the drama that comes with it. And you can just absolutely just soak into it and know that there's going to be so many gifts that you're learning to work with brand new. Um, and really move with these activations in a way that's purposeful and really profound for you and the collective. Because what we're here to do um, each day, Spirit, um, um, the Spirit shows us that we're here to anchor communities of light. And those communities of light are the participation and the engagement that each of us have as being light. And so take ownership and, and acknowledgement and claiming who you are as light. Move about your path with intention, that you know who you are, you know what your story is and why you're here, and you're going to explore it in the most diverse ways that you are able to, because that's spirit. Your DNA is only, your DNA is the outer, the most profound experience, and it can encapsulate the most mystical, magical, 
allness that we are in physical form because it's kind of like the kind of like the ignition switch right you can't get the body to move unless you put the ignition switch in and that's what the dna is and the dna in and of itself is the is the, is the pillar to our consciousness and so it's going to be very very important that we really focus on so many different ways of our health and our wellness multi-dimensionally to see how we can grow and expand with it and this is why i can't say this enough how we are at such a precipice and how anybody could be bored because there is so much for each person to tap into every facet of our spiraling now is going to be rewritten um, and so what they wanted to show me and each person is here to be a unique part of that so don't think that you have a unique part and this is why you know anybody that takes anybody's work or steals from anybody um, it, it's kind of um, it's, um, it's kind of like its own self-sacrifice because when you really understand that each person has a unique part to play you will far make more money in doing your own unique thing than you will ever make on taking from another or taking the ideas from another because the energy is just not the same unique energy is unique energy I'm the only one that offers the unique energy that I do. I'm the only one that offers the unique visions that I do. I'm the only one that offers the unique God tongue that I do. I am the only one that speaks in the way that I speak. I am the only one that offers who I am. It's my energy. <laughs> and so anything else is not. And so, um, oh, this is what they wanted me to show you. Um, so this beautiful vision of the cells when we were talking about rewrite, when this DNA gets activated, they were showing me it's like um i don't know how i can explain this but it's like the um Ar archangel ariel has been um, thank you thank you so much archangel ariel lots of archangels with me right now and you just see these truly tall tall light beings behind me i love it and i'm i I love Aina Tiki. They're saying we salute you. Um, and so, um, and so what they're saying is thank you, is we are harmonizing into a new group of sacred states. They're saying we want to give you all gratitude for being here today. Thank you, Spirit. We appreciate you for taking yourself outside the box and knowing that you are far more than you have been taught or told and your communication with your bodily processes, your communication with the energies that are in and around you, the field of God that is in and around you within every cell of your, mole your molecular structure is of your greatest of importance. <clears throat> this is the communication through which that you know that your voice and your body carry such words and have of its grace to its own spirit matter. So that is someone that speaks ill of themselves and somebody that speaks really great of themselves. You'll see a difference in their body physical chemistry. You are what you become. You are what you think you are. <laughs> and that is consciousness. Consciousness is the awakening of your God essence of and in of itself. Your, your cells are beautiful, light, dear ones. And it's God in and of itself. Spirit beyond all things that have ever been written. And whatever can be expressed or explained for it to each, to each path to express to explore and experience in and of itself. No one is to tell another how one can experience God. It's impossible. Joanna's experience of God is not like another's experience of God, and nor would it should it, could it be. Or you all come with unique experiences and soul records and soul timelines and soul, ex soul bodies. Why would you ever want your path to be exactly like another's? Claim your own unique identity, beings. This is why you each have unique fingerprints. It's to allude to the fact and the truth that you are all dynamic, diverse, divine beings. So be it. The more that you suppress being you, fully you, the harder life will be. You are in the flow of allness and your oneness. You're meant to fully be you. <coughs> And so we wanted to just then thank you, Spirit. <laughs> thank you. They say we want to celebrate you in being sovereign. Thank you, Spirit. And don't take another story of who you are. Don't reduce yourself to fit somebody else's agenda. Don't reduce yourself to fit somebody else's schemes or stories of who you, they think you are, who they want you to be. Stand fully in the truth of who you are, regardless of how challenging and how 
um, hard the path may be. You can do this. You can rise above. You can be that whistleblower. You can be that one that brings truth to something that has been false and hidden. You can and you will. So be that. Be that, dear ones. You are equally met in support by the universe. This is the science of God. Hi, and I'm like it again. See, I am my it again. She is my it again. Like and I'm like it again. Very Anna. Thank you, Spirit. Hi, I'm about to get she and I'm like it again. I like it again. I am like it again. I'm like it again. I thank you, Spirit. I am the Nakadataka. I'm just talking with the elementals right now. They want to come forward. I am a And so they're saying this is a great time of year to listen to the sounds around you that are that of the elementals and the insects. There is a great song of the biosphere that is growing and in its consciousness, in your growing consciousness as you evolve consciously, so too is the consciousness of all elementals. For we are preparing ourselves for your preparing consciousness. Do you see how this is an evolutionary cycle, dear lighted ones? For there is nothing that stops and stays stagnant. You either join in on the ride or don't, but everything will evolve. And the sooner you get on the ride and have fun, the sooner that you will be able to see and feel and sense yourself as a part of this magical ride. So understand all is evolving. The sounds you know will be different. So tune in, ask your children to tune into the insects, tune into the buzzing around you. What do you hear? What song do you hear? Your consciousnesses are more aligned sensorily than any time before in your human experience. That's why we say, why are you, anyone would be bored. There is so much to tap into, dear lighted ones. Just giving gratitude to the fairies. Thank you, holy fairies. <laughs> Play more with the flowers. They have so much to teach you. The flowers are so beautiful just being themselves and they don't ask anything of themselves. They just are. <laughs> right? Nature can teach you so much. And as we are activated in our new DNA, so too is Gaia, so too is the consciousness of the all. That's why you each experience different earths, because each of you are at different consciousness levels. The more awake and open and expansive you are, and the more open you are to all life, the more that all life is open to you. And any scientist will absolutely see it's all about perspective. So the higher in consciousness scientists are, the higher in consciousness our leaders are, the higher in consciousness that our medical systems are, the higher in consciousness our learning systems are. Boy, oh boy, there is nothing stopping us. And we will create peaceful resolve. There will be no more wars. And every person on this planet will have clean water and food. Because that is our destiny. And we will do it with diverse unification because we are now leaders of 5D. And it's time that we step up and step forward, dear lighted ones. There are reasons for your activations. So reach beyond the beyond. Stand high, stand tall, and be the leaders that you are meant to be. We are coming to you from the Galactic Federation. Hi, Ananakai, Si Ananakai, Ananakai. I think you have my Si Thank you. That's from the light ship intrepid. Thank you, Spirit. I love you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for this transmission. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so, just as the rewrite of the cell, um, that cell um, is like. And they were showing me the cell and how it was being activated by the DNA. The DNA sends codes. I guess we could say as codes, but I didn't feel that. It felt as um, um, 
it felt like the harmonization or the um, the enfoldment, the embodiment of God, the essence of God that I feel, the essence of God when God talks to me, the song of God, the, the, the words of God, the love of God, the God that I know beyond the beyond, um, re rewriting with me my new cells. So it's like God and I were putting together the pieces and we were, re, we were making a rewriting my cells to match the new destiny, the new mission that I'm now on. Because that DNA activation is in alignment with your um, ever evolutionary spiral upward, new missions, new destinies, new potentials, new excitements, new this, new that. And it's all, and it's all spiraling in this new now. And so your DNA activations have absolutely everything to do with your children. Your children need your DNA activations. Your children knew that coming here before they signed on with you, that you would activate in your highest and in your best because they needed it. So hold nothing back. Don't be held back by social conformity because it's not normal, it's not this, it's not that. This is 5D people. We're not going backwards. 3D is not going to stay here. <laughs> 3D is being transmuted and transformed every day. And so your DNA activations are crucial for the evolution of your children and for them to tap into their highest and their best. So just absolutely know the more that you're moving in this moment for moment self-love, moment for moment self-care, choosing every moment higher vibrational self-loving care choices. Your body and your teams and your healing teams and the beings that are with you activating your DNA, they know exactly through your higher self when you're ready for that next activation. Spirit and God and your teams and your higher self will not move you to that next stage unless you've learned the lessons. So you've got to learn the lessons. Every cycle, learn the lessons. Are the lessons on self-care? Are the lessons on, um, you know, self-honor? You know, is it understanding your truth and speaking of it? Is it of the respect of yourself? It's always about the self. That is your, it's your experience. That's all you take with you. You don't take any of the stuff with you. So all the stuff that you focus on, the money and the stuff and the money and the stuff, you never take any of that with you. And it's never ever the focus of your ascension. Your ascension is as a soul. Am I making choices that serve my soul? Am I making choices that serve my emotions? Am I honoring my emotions? Am I honoring my body? Am I honoring this beautiful version of God that I am? This God that is transforming in and out, changing the whole world and the whole creation. When you have a DNA activation, throughout all creation has changed. Your children, your whole family has changed. Now they got to step up. They got to start incorporating greater light. They got to start reaching out and exploring more. That is the process of ascension in these tangled experiences where you have these family engagements and these friend engagements. You will see others start to access more and want to explore more. You'll see people branch off and go away and come back later. So just allow for change. Allow for the expansiveness. This is what it's all about. And it's so magnificent. It's so magical. So have fun, dear lighted ones. We love you so much. And namaste. The donation button is below. We thank you so much for those of you that donate. We love you so much. Um, my work is, um, all my links are below. Um, I don't have a boss and I don't have any partners. So um, any money that is sent is used to um, benefit the building of my, um, my new mission, <laughs> my new destiny now. And so we love you so very much. And we honor you. Um, thank you to everybody and we love you. Bye, rainbow kisses. <laughs>